Greetings, fellow Gorehounds, and welcome back to a Blood Splatter Vlog. I'm the Horror Guru. And I'm Count Dracula. And as you may or may not know, Sci-Fi recently released a new Critters movie, and I realized upon reading about that that, holy shit, I still haven't seen the Shudder show that they made, um, <laughs> like a few months back. So, uh, we decided to take a night and watch both of them, but first we're gonna talk about Shudder A New Binge, the, uh, or, uh, Critters, Critters the, new, the binge. new Binge, the Shutter Show. Yes. <laughs> First, we're going to talk about that, um, and then we're going to do a second vlog on the uh, on Critters Attack, the uh, latest movie. Yes. Um, First thing I want to say about um, Critters, a uh, new binge. Uh, why the fuck isn't this a movie? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, check this out. It's on Shutter, but it's in Shutter in like eight segments of eight to ten minutes, and if you just strung them together it's an 80 minute film yeah it's kind of it's a little on the short side but i mean like there are puppet master movies that are that don't take that long exactly ironically you know? it would be the shortest movie and yet it's the series yeah and yet it's the series <laughs> okay that, I, that's neither here nor there it's just something that kind of bugs me because there's like no reason why this couldn't just be yeah they could have just put it they just could have had a had a movie called critters of the new binge and bam yeah you know you know or gave it some sort of like different name than binge if you wanted to specifically binge with that title but whatever yeah the, the thing is that what's really important about this is that um critters had been lying dormant for fucking years before this it yeah. was kind of a big deal that not only was critters coming out as a series it was also going to be coming out as a new sci-fi movie so this is the uh revitalization of a long dead franchise not one of the more popular ones mind you well not well, well one of the <laughs> Everyone remembers Critters. It, well, exactly, but exactly. It's everyone's it's favorite. Not, yeah, everyone's favorite Gremlins knockoff. You know? Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's the best Gremlins knockoff that that has ever been. Even though the original creator insists that uh, he had the script written before Gremlins, I guarantee you the only reason why it got greenlit to be filmed is because of Gremlins. Yes. So, anyway. Yes. Um. Uh. And uh, personally, I haven't seen most of the Gremlins films in years. I can mostly remember the first two and vaguely the third and fourth. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Every, the thing, the thing about, the thing about the critters movies is that everyone had a sort of weird escalation of what the critters could do. Yeah. Yeah. The first one, it's just like, it's critters. What do they do? They eat things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Done. And they roll and they eat. And yeah. In the second one, they fought the, uh, what was that? That's, is that the next mutation? Oh uh, no, it's called the second it? course. Something like that. Yeah. 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 Where they can turn to one big ball. Yeah. And critters. that was the escalation there. Yeah. And in the third one, there are now giant critters mm -hmm. that are a little bit bigger than people. Yep. And in the fourth one, they lay eggs. Because yeah. that was the the fucking I remember that being Easter weird. one. I remember that being really weird too because like the previous movie the third one had established that it takes a long time for their eggs to gestate. And then in the fourth one they just date in like hours or something yeah yeah yeah. they they, they turn into <laughs> gremlins at that point where it's which like, is they really eat, weird. they breed oh no it, it's kind of like watching uh alien versus predator versus any of the other alien movies where it takes a while for the aliens to actually hatch but yeah yeah anyway that is neither important this movie has an this movie this show has an escalation too but we'll get to that um uh i thoroughly enjoyed uh critter's the new binge. I fucking. I think it might be my favorite critters thing since the first two movies. Honestly, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, it is the utter and it is utter it. It utterly embraces all the stupid and ridiculous aspects of the original four movies, and then takes them to eleven. Yeah. Now, with that said, uh, it's a very low budget movie. Oh yeah, super low budget. Like we're we're talking like there's some after effects, special effects of this movie that are like the kind of thing you'd see on like a cable access TV show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> these are these are special effects that you feel like Full Moon would look at and go, uh, you might want to give it another like, pass there, like, Joe. <laughs> to be fair to it, it is totally web series quality. Uh, oh yeah, special yeah, yeah. Effects. Very much, very much. Um, but you know, the thing is, is because it doesn't take itself too seriously, that didn't bother me. No, I know. Here's that's the other thing. No, um, when you this at all. came out, I heard a lot of negative things about it from hardcore critters fans of all things. And uh, I don't know how you can be a hardcore critters fan. <laughs> 
<laughs> they exist. They exist. I, I, I must be like hardcore leprechaun fans. Uh, th- there's like... hardcore hobgoblin fans. Like they exist. Oh no, my god. <laughs> They exist. Oh, oh my geez. God. There's a, there's some guy out there watching this video right now going, Munchies is my jam, man. <laughs> and you know who that is? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I've seen, I don't know how many times I've seen Munchies. Um, uh, it's not a good movie. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I, I, I'll, I'll fucking defend Ghoulies mm. for all its bullshit. Oh, yeah. And Ghoulies, any Ghoulies movie is worse than a Critters movie. Just... Categorically. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, because like you can actually, and this is a good example. Uh, the Critters and New Binge is a good example. It's not boring. No, it's never boring. It is never boring. Um, but the thing is, the thing is, is I realized that a lot of the things that people hate about this uh, show are why I love it. It is completely over the top. It doesn't take itself seriously. It is 100% a horror comedy. Oh, yeah. Um, It embraces all the stupid aspects of the Critter series, as in, like, the space war and the, like, bounty hunters and, like... The fact that the Critters talk. The Critters talk in this. (laughs) Well, they talked. They talked in. Um, um, I know they talked in one of the other. Yeah, ones, they yeah. talk in one of the other ones, but it's it's one of those. It's like a one-off joke. Yeah, it's so they can like make fun of pla- make a platoon joke. But in this, you know? they're like doing like full-on conversations throughout most of the movie. And here's the thing that didn't bother me because I just felt like an escalation of shit previous movies had did. Exactly. Um, and uh, it, it's also like full of just the gross juvenile humor that I love because it turns out this was made by the same people who made Zombievers. And I love Zombievers. <laughs> I, love, I love Zombievers too. It's, it's one of those movies where, where you start the first half of the movie, you're like, uh, I kind of hate all these characters. But then it happens. Yes. And Once the movie kicks into the gear, that doesn't become as much of a problem. But at yeah, the beginning yeah. it is. At the beginning there's a barrier to entry. But once you get past that... You start to enjoy all the fucked up things happening to yeah, them. Yeah, whereas Curse of New Binge does not have that problem at all. No, the characters are extremely likable in this, even when they are being super immature. Yeah, yeah, and the <laughs> acting, not the best. No, it is not the best. Um, it is about on par with some of those Critters, Critters sequels. Um, in particular, I'm looking at that second one, which has, like, wrestling quality acting, probably because one of the actors was an actual well, wrestler. Well, I, yeah, <laughs> how, to, how to put it. When Sybil Danning has only one line in yeah. the film and yeah. is the best actress, yeah, yeah, you got you got so, yourselves like, an that issue. That to me didn't bother me because that feels like uh, outside of like the first Critters movie, which has like D. Wallace and shit like that. Most of the Critters movies has pretty mediocre acting. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm willing to roll with that as long as I like the characters. Despite and the fact the third one got Leo in it. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, it does. see, that's what they should have done with that Revenant. Yeah. It should be a critter. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, instead of a bear, it's a giant critter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, Hell gold, yeah. gold Oscar. right there. Oscar. Fucking Oscars. Um, but this show takes all that to 11. And I enjoy that, but I'm reali- I was realizing, reading a lot of people's negative comments, that for them, um, uh, they don't like it when it's that stupid. They're wrong. But here's the thing. It's critters. I kind of like critters when it's stupid. Well, no, critters are supposed to be stupid. But you know what this is? This is um similar instance. I am a huge fan and defender of Seed of Chucky. And I notice that when people hate Seed of Chucky, it's for all the reasons I love it. And that's the same case here. It's because yeah, I love all yeah. like the, whole, the the comedy shit. I, lo- I think it's hilarious. Yeah, I dealt with a lot of people who were like, oh, fuck it, I hate Seed of Chucky. And I'm like, your opinion can't be trusted. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't my, know. I don't my know my feeling you. is is that I would rather you go the let's embrace the stupidity route and like just go full bore into your non budget and just have fun with it than to to make something that is trying to take itself seriously but is really bad. Yeah. You know. And to prove that this movie does not take itself too seriously, m- the major supporting actor, the one whose name <laughs> you know, the one that you're like, hey, there's a real guy in this movie. It's Gilbert Gottfried. He's great. He's only in the movie. He's only in the show for like the first four episodes, but his impression is felt throughout all of it. Oh yeah, because he's <laughs> like this like kind of senile old scientist mm-hmm. uncle who says things like. My doctor says I need Viagra. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's begun to hurt, boy. Yep. Because I have a lot of sex. <laughs> Do you have a lot of sex? Because your granddad has a lot of sex. The entire speech about his dick belonging in the, Miss- the Smithsonian. It was just, oh my God. Beautiful. That's the kind of humor this movie oh has. There's God. a lot of dick and fart jokes. 
Um, so but, if you liked, like, for example, if you like zombie, um, um, uh, the zombie, the Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. Yeah, very similar. You know, very this similar. is this is right on that level. Um, and uh, although that movie is way better acted. Yeah, that movie's way better acted and um, embraces its heart a little more than this does. Though this does have a heart. Anyway. Oh yeah, it does. It really does. Um. Uh. So uh, without okay, let's <laughs> we're about to go into the spoilers, but before we do, uh. This is currently available on Shudder. Go check it out. Um, we are not sponsored by Shudder. We're just fans. And um, uh, I think if you like the Critters and if you like the stupid aspect of the Critters, you owe it to yourself to check it out. Yeah. If you want to watch dumb fun for it's good pure 80 dumb. minutes. Even if you're going to be sitting there like me wondering why the fuck it was split up into eight segments instead of just being one movie. Whatever. Yeah. And with that said, uh, let us move on to the spoilers. Okay, so we mentioned that the critters talk in this one. Oh, do and they? you're probably thinking that's the escalation. No, 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 that's no. not the escalation. So it turns out this entire movie is about the critters being sent by the critters president. Uh, you heard First me. First of all, the critters crit president. The critters president <laughs> has sent them on a mission to recover a lost critter. That was lost on Earth at some point. Now, this story has no connection to the previous movies. So no, no. You're, if you're thinking like, oh, is it one of the critters from the previous movies? No. And in yeah, fact, Although, we were wondering that for the longest oh, yeah, time. Because yeah. we're sitting there going like, we're acting like we're supposed to... That, like, this is like a knowledge drop. What is mm -hmm. going on? And this leads into the eventual twist of the uh, show slash movie thing. Um, and that's that it turns out our main character is the lost critter because his mom who uh as the show establishes is um quite the slut yeah she's, she's loves whore. sleeping around um uh and she back in 1999 at the turn of the century when the uh millennium was happening and the world was gonna end met a, cr a critter met a critter and fucked it <laughs> now you might be going <laughs> wait and we what? see that flashback yeah that flashback happens Go on. Roll over me. Roll. <laughs> Roll over me. That's another thing. This show is fucking quotable as fuck. Oh, yes. <laughs> what was that? What was that line? It was just, 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 just like, this entire life you made me feel like my eating disorder was my fault because I had no self-control, but it was actually because you fucked, fucked an, an alien. alien. <laughs> What do you what do you mean? Yeah, I have a rare I have a rare fucking dental condition that fucking like means I gotta wear these false teeth. He takes them out, he's got critter teeth. What you mean that's not normal back hair? <laughs> no, that's normal back hair, but the spines sticking out of it that you can shoot out are not. Yeah. <laughs> also, your eyes are naturally red. We just keep giving you eye surgery. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Um, and that's the escalation. There is a so human, dumb. There's... yeah, human high, human critter hybrid. Yeah, one hundred percent. Oh my god! And it, it, if you're not on board with the show when that happens, you're not gonna like the show. You've got to like, no. you should just turn it off at that point because that was the point where, to me, the show became gooder. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it became gooder as shit. It became the goodest. That's when the show was elevated beyond just being, all right, this is pretty fun, to being, oh my god, this is stupid as shit, I love it. Yeah, no, it's it's <laughs> like it's like that moment in fucking Jack Frost where they shoot the puddle because yep. he's melted. Like, bam, bam, oh my god, it's not working. Like, <laughs> stop, stop right there, this is the best movie. That's the good moment. <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh, when the fucking Twitter the, the fucking critter president shows up and is just like, you may call me dad. dad. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? That was voicing the president. Oh, sh I forgot to look it up. Uh, I don't I'll, know. I'll, okay, I'll look it up afterwards and put the name here because that that na that voice sounded really familiar. Uh, yeah, it did. If you're like, <laughs> okay, so he is a critter. Does he do critter things? Oh my god! Yes. Oh my god! At yes, the, in the does. finale, when he rolled into the scene, <laughs> this is beautiful. God this damn is it! Fucking beautiful. I will say this: this is one hundred percent a show where, if uh, you like to indulge, y you might want to oh, before you start yeah, watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah because yeah. this show, this show is totally made to be watched high as fuck. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's so great and it's so dumb. <laughs> 
You know, this also, is the kind of this is the kind of stupid geniuses make up. This is also you one know? of those get a bunch of your friends that like stupid shit together and just fucking riff it because yeah, yeah, yeah. This thing, like, this is one of those things where I found myself going like, man, they kind of just went trauma with this. It feels very trauma, one hundred percent. Like it, it, it it's. It just embraced itself. It's just like, we're not going to be able to do much better than this. Our budget is only so-so. And while they do have a lot of critter puppets, which I appreciated. Yeah. Um, the, the digital effects we could achieve with this, with like the spaceships, it's only going to be so good. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. It's The 3D is bad. We're talking like... It's real bad. <laughs> we're talking like, like the fucking... 3D animation you see in like the Red Dwarf remasters. <laughs> oh, before they remastered it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like that's that's even a bit of a high bar for I what know. you see here. There are literally <laughs> sometimes when the critters explode, it's literally just like a green like After Effects splash. Yeah, and yeah. like that's what you get. That's what you get. Well, you know. But despite all that. It's fun. Still worth it. Still worth it. It's super fun. It, yeah. And 80 minutes, it doesn't overstay its welcome. And it's 80 minutes of fucking hilarity. I kind of want them to do a second binge. Dude, I mean, yeah. weirdly enough, I don't, I still would be sitting there going like, why isn't this just a movie? But uh, if they're going to be these two things where you have the movie franchise and the Shutter franchise, I kind of want them to do more of this too. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I definitely would want them to continue the Shutter so, franchise. So, uh, with that said, where can they find you, Count Jacula? Oh, you can find me on Twitter, on Instagram, and uh, I stream every Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and again on Sunday, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'm also on Twitch, uh, playing video games uh, throughout the week. Please follow, love to see you. And on all the streams, I, like, you know, talk to people and we discuss other... Uh, stupid shit and sometimes even profound shit that i think is profoundly funny sometimes sometimes stupid profound shit stupid profound shit oh that's yeah. the best yeah, that's, the that's the best that's what like that's like when you've when reached you... nirvana right yeah there. yeah yeah it, 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 it is when you realize that you know like hey why is uh why is the buddha laughing so much it's because he farted yeah you know yeah. you know that's that's the buddha would have loved the critters a new bitch. oh yeah of course of course he would <laughs> Of course you would. You'd have been like, ah, oh, see, now that's living up to your dharma. Mm -hmm. You know, that's being 100% what you are. Yep. You know, that's, yeah, yeah. how could you be mad at that? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you all know me. I'm the Horror Guru. Look me up on Twitter, on Twitch, on Facebook. Look up the Horror Guru or Blood Splattered Cinema, and I'll be there. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and to uh, check out my Patreon. Uh, and, uh, if you, if you, uh, decide to go the Patreon route, uh, even a dollar a month can go a long way. Yes. Um, and, uh, oh yeah. And ring that notification bell. Oh God. There's so many things we got to do on this YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> ring that notification bell. Like, comment, subscribe, uh, sacrifice a chicken. Sacrifice you know? a chicken. You know, wipe twice. But don't do you... it on camera. Uh, yeah. Don't do it on camera. <laughs> You know, wipe your ass <laughs> twice after going to the bathroom. Wash your hands. You know, make sure that you set your alarm. You know, did you leave the oven on? And uh, with all that said, my fellow gorehounds, we will be right back with another vlog uh, uh, about Critters Attack really soon. So uh, stay tuned for that. <laughs>